Hello guys, welcome back to e Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the two important technical terms. These are the stiffness and the flexibility of a material. So these two are the material properties and we have to explain these two terms in a detail with an example so it will be easy to understand. Now, what is stiffness and what is flexibility and how we can differentiate between these two types of the material. So, so I will explain with the help of the figures in example so everyone can understand it easily. Now first to define the stiffness that what is stiffness. Stiffness is usually represented by K and it is equal to the ratio of force per unit deformation. Force divided by deformation per unit deformation is known as the stiffness or we can say simply F is the force and delta is the deformation. And the flexibility is totally opposite to that of the stiffness when well, it is presented by F and it is equal to the deformation divided by the force. So deformation is delta and F is the force. So these two are um, the material properties but are quite different from one another now how they are different so i will uh, take here the example of two material for example here is the first material maybe it's steel bar or maybe a rubber or some aluminum steel aluminum sheet so this is the first material and this is the second material now how to define their stiffness and later on how to define their flexibility of this material so first to start with the stiffness, so stiffness is the ratio of the force per unit deformation. Force per unit deformation. The amount of force you applied on an object to produce a unit deformation is known as the stiffness of the material. So if I consider this is an object of steel or steel bar and I applied the load, a tension load, a tensile load I applied here on this object of magnitude if and this object here it's important in this object deforms a one millimeter deformation is one millimeter this is important to note that this deformation should always be one millimeter or one meter or one centimeter but it should be always per unit this is the force per unit deformation so the force is applied to produce a unit deformation here is one millimeter so this will be known as the stiffness of this material for example for the first material this is our first material for example it is a steel bar and this is uh, has different properties so this is a first steel bar and its stiffness is if i applied 20 newton of force and it produces a unit deformation so what will be its stiffness it will be equal to the so the stiffness of this material will be equal to the k is equal to the force per unit deformation or we can say force is 20 newton dividing by unit deformation is one millimeter so the stiffness of this material is 20 newton per millimeter this is the stiffness of the first material to produce a unit deformation we require 20 newton of force now we have another steel bar steel bar again but here made up of different um, material i mean from the inside the raw material is different from the first material so in this case we again apply the load on this steel bar if i again apply the load on this steel bar if and i want to produce a unit deformation of one millimeter so for this material I require let's suppose of 40 Newton force to produce a unit deformation. So now in this case in my second material my stiffness is force divided by deformation per unit and force is 40 Newton divided by per unit deformation which is 40 di Newton divided by millimeter. So in this case our stiffness is higher as compared to the first material. So 40 Newton is quite higher double than that of the first material so we can say that our second material is more stiff as compared to the first material and this material is less stiff in comparison to the second material so it shows 
the amount of load that can be applied to produce a unit deformation in an object this will be known as the stiffness of the material now let's come in shortly to the flexibility so here i again have two material two different material and let's suppose i flexibility first to define again is the is the ratio of the deformation dividing by the force but here in this case the force should be always in unit in one unit i means it can be one newton it can be one kilonewton it can be one mega newton and so on and one pound and so on so flexibility is the ratio of the deformation per unit force it is here unit force that how much deformation can be occurred in a body if we applied a unit force is known as the flexibility of this material so here is the first for example first material made up of the aluminium here is the second material again made up of the aluminium but with different raw material i mean so in the first case if i applied the load on this object and the load is fixed here the load is one for example the load is one kilonewton i applied the load of one kilonewton on this object and it produces a deformation of five millimeter delta is five millimeter so what will be the flexibility for this material so it will be flexibility will be equal to the f equal to the four delta divided by force so delta is five millimeter force is one kilonewton so it means five millimeter per kilonewton is the flexibility of this material so five millimeter deformation can be produced if we applied only a single kilonewton force on this object now what will be the flexibility for the second material if i applied again the same load if of one kilonewton but here this material is made up of the raw material different than that of the first material and it shows the deformation of 10 millimeter so what will be the flexibility it will be delta divided by force or delta is equal to the 10 millimeter dividing by force which is one kilonewton so it will be equal to the 10 millimeter divided by kilonewton so this is the flexibility of our second material so we can see here that the second material is more flexible because it shows more deformation by applying the same unit as compared to the first material so this is more flexible material while the first one is more is less flexible material because why because 5 mm per kilonewton is a lower value than the 10 mm per kilonewton so this was the main difference between the stiffness and flexibility that stiffness deals with the uh, deformation unit deformation while the flexibility deals with the unit force hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video